Is it your habit to add etc. or and so forth, or even among others in your writing? This mini lesson gives you guidelines for when to use these and when not to use these. I'm Cheryl Holt and I teach academic writing and presentations to international students at the University of Minnesota. I often see these words at the ends of sentences, but most of the time they're just from habit and aren't really necessary. Let's look at an example in academic writing. These special tax incentives are available in six states, Illinois, Iowa, Ohio, etc. Hmm, what are the other three states? There isn't a clear pattern here, so the reader doesn't know what the etc. represents. What are the other three states? Instead of adding etc., there's a much better strategy, particularly in academic writing. You could take out the colon and say, are available in six states including Illinois, Iowa, and Ohio. Here you've just given an example of three of the states in this list. Or you could keep the colon and write all six states. Are available in six states colon Illinois, Iowa, Ohio, Minnesota, Kansas, and Wisconsin. Here's the rule. Only use etc and and so forth when there's a clear pattern such as 1, 3, 5, etc. We know what the pattern is and can figure out the rest of the numbers. If there's no pattern but you're just giving an example, take out etc or and so forth. But what about among others? Is this your habit? The same guideline applies. Take out among others and replace it with including or name all six states. You notice that I used including instead of such as in the above example. Do you know the difference? They're both used to give an example or clarify a concept, but such as is just giving any example whereas including often highlights the most important ones. You might notice, however, that like is not in my list. Like is less formal, so I'll only talk about such as and including in this lesson. Let's look at some examples. Let's look at the difference between such as and including. I have worked for many large companies such as 3M and IBM. Here I'm only given an example of some large companies I've worked for. But if I change it to including, I've worked for many large companies including 3M and IBM. I'm highlighting the most important ones I worked for. It's a subtle difference but may be important in some of your academic writing. For example, in our previous sentence if I write these special tax incentives are available in six states such as the writer is just giving a random sample of the states whereas if the writer uses including it highlights the most important ones does the writer want to highlight the important ones or just give a random sample as in this example let's look at an example from literature Several studies have found that elderly people tend to regard physical declines such as difficulty in performing daily tasks as a natural part of the aging process. Such as is simply given an example of physical declines. This is a good use of such as because the writer is only giving us an example to explain what she means by physical declines. However, in another example, which one would you use? Thus, the findings of the current study may contribute to stakeholders such as, or including, housing developers, urban designers, and policy makers. Is the writer just giving examples of stakeholders, or does the writer want to highlight these three types of stakeholders as being the most important? Either one works, but each one gives a slightly different impression to the reader. Let's look at another example. 
we identified many factors, such as or including gender and income. Again, is the writer trying to simply give an example, or does she want to highlight the two most important ones in this study? If gender and income are the most important or the focus of the study, then the writer should use including to highlight those two factors. The same is true in these sentences. Should he use environmental factors such as air quality or environmental factors including air quality? Does the writer want to just give an example of environmental factors such as air quality or does he want to highlight air quality as being a main focus of his study using including air quality? Do you see the difference? So here are the guidelines, take out etc. and so forth, or among others, most of the time. Don't make these phrases a habit in your writing. And choose carefully between such as and including. Including may better represent what you're trying to tell the reader. For more information on formal writing conventions, see Chapter 3 and particularly page 72.